classical or Pavlovian conditioning. Classical conditioning is a type of learning made famous by Pablo's experiment with dogs. Ivan Petrovich Pablo He was born on September 14, 1849 in the village of Russian Russia, the son of Peter Mitrovich Pavlov, who was the village priest. Pavlov's main area of research throughout his scientific career was on the digestive process which brought on a series of experiments exploring the correlation between the nervous system and the autonomic functions of the body. During 1990s, Pavlov experimented with dogs studying the relationship between salivation and digestion by applying stimuli to the animals in a variety of ways using sound, visuals, and tactile stimulation. He was able to make the animal salivate whether they were in the presence of food or not, a phenomenon he called the condition of flex. To get his dog to salivate, Pavlov would present them with food facing the target morsel on the canine's tongue. After working with a given dog for a few days, Pavlov noticed that the dog would salivate before being presented with food. The dogs drooled when Pavlov entered the room. They slobbered at the sound of his approaching footsteps. It was to Pavlov. What got Pavlov's attention was the fact that salivation is a reflex and the dogs were displaying that reflex in the absence of a natural stimulus. This idea that a natural reflex could be affected by learning so interested Pavlov that he abandoned his studies of digestion and spent the next 30 years, the remainder of his career and life, investigating this phenomenon. Then Pavlov would feed his dogs, food being the unconditioned stimulus, and the dogs would drool, presenting the unconditioned response, salivation. Nothing unusual here, just a framework in which to describe the change. But after this procedure was repeated, the dogs would start to salivate at the sound of the bell alone. At this point, Pablo referred to the dogs as being classical condition to salivate with the bell. Pablo's bell now became a conditioned stimulus because it elicited salivation, the conditioned response. The point here is that the dogs had learned to display a reflexive behavior to a new association, one that need have no connection to the original stimulus. After conditioning his dogs, Pavlov would study how long the new associations would persist and what might modify them. Pavlov noticed many factors that affected the conditioned stimulus and response relationship. Pavlov noticed a phenomena he dubbed stimulus generalization. If a dog became conditioned to slobber to the sound of a bell, then just about any bell might do, such as doorbells and telephone. Pavlov found that conditioned responses could be eliminated gradually, a process he referred to as, as extinction. If Pavlov rang his bell repeatedly and failed to feed his dogs, they eventually learned that free lunch was over and would once again only salivate in the presence of food. However, Pavlov also noticed that extinct condition responses would also reappear after a rest period if the conditioned stimulus was again presented some hours later a process he dubbed spontaneous recovery. 